In a close race against former winners Justin Verlander and Corey Kluber, Blake Snell emerged as the American League Cy Young Award winner in 2018. For Blake Snell, he's making his third start of the season. He got him a cut the miss. Reared back and picks up his first strikeout. And there's a cut and a miss. And a cut and a miss. He's out on strikes. And he strikes out of Rayu. And a cut and a miss at the fastball up. And he is out on strikes for the third time swinging today. Eight strikeouts for Snell. And a swing and a miss by Abreu. Throw down to first from Ramos to Crone. The 2 2. He strikes out Del Monaco swinging. And that retires the side. Strikeout number 10 for Snell. Cut the miss. That takes care of Gordon. See why they've had trouble getting back for the postseason. And a cut and a miss. Segura out on strikes. Back three two again. And he got him. Got him over that pitch. And Snell strikes out the side. Accomplish that. He comes back and strikes out Cruz. Four consecutive strikeouts here by Snell to begin this game. And he goes up with the fastball and gets Seeger to chase it. Five consecutive strikeouts to begin his performance here in Seattle. There's a cut and a miss. And again, Blake Snell strikes out the side. Dad in his fourth year as a head coach at Shoreline Community College. And how about that? Seven consecutive strikeouts. This one looking. Strike three call. He got him looking with a fastball on the outside corner. He got him. A swing and a miss. And a wave and a miss. Down to first. Strikeout number 11. And a swing and a miss at that pitch breaking into the dirt. Well, and for Blake Snell tonight, he is looking for win number 10. Blake Snell gets a strikeout when he needed it. Tonight, early going, that curveball sick. That is filthy. A pretty impressive shutdown inning by Blake Snell. And Blake Snell strikes out the side. That's five consecutive strikeouts for Blake. He has 10 strikeouts through five innings. And he is not allowed to hit through five. Rendon has the first hit of the night for the Nationals, and it's a double. Snell, seven shutout innings today on just one hit. He has pitched absolutely spectacularly. And a swing and a miss. He is out on strikes. Right here in the first inning. Swing and a miss. Fastball got him. 97 up. And he threw it by him. 2-2 from Blake. Swing and a miss at a ball down in the dirt. There's a swing and a miss, strike three, and a dominating second inning by Blake Snell as he strikes out this side. Snell from a windup and throws, swing and a miss. He struck him out of the high fastball. From the windup, he comes home, and Gaddis blown away at the high fastball for strike three. Snell ready to pitch. Check swing. Did he go? The last get third, and yes, he did, said Jordan Baker. Strike three called on the outside corner. And a cut and a miss. He went up with the fastball. And strikes him out. And the 0-2 to Dozier. He strikes him out. Swing and a miss on the fastball up. Dozier out of there. Kansas City leaves a man. And a wave and a miss. Duda. That's a strike call. Fastball catching Escobar looking. And strike three call. Fastball in. Doesn't make any difference. Cut the miss on the fastball. That takes care of Kansas City. Swing and a miss on the fastball. Well, he started him that way, finished him that way. And the Royals line up, and he waves and misses 98. And that's strike three call. Fastball right there. The game ended. That's a strike right there as Gordon tried to check and could not, so he's out of there. And that's strikeout number 10 tonight. And the breaking ball, and he takes it, throws him. The 2-2, grounded to second. Wendell over to first. 
just over 16 pitches in any. That's, That's very good. efficient yeah. for a power guy. There's that depth again. Now Trey strikes ball. out. That's the first strikeout of the night for Blake Snell. Got him on a strikeout swinging and the payoff pitch. Curveball in the zone and he punches him out. Backwards K for Blake Snell. And that is a huge strikeout. The left-hander ready to go on the pitch. Swing it a grounder back up toward the middle. Adamas has it. Flips the second out. Turned to first by Wendell. It's a double play. It goes six to four to three. It's a tech data double play. Here's the one two to Rua. Right down the heart of the plate. Another backwards K for Blake Snell. That's strikeout number five on the night. That's his lockup of a heater as you're going to get. That's number 200 on the season. 0 oh, 1 the count here to Alberto. Swings and lifts one of the air to straightaway center. Pushing Kiermaier back. Back to the warning track. At the wall. Makes the catch to retire the side. And Blake Snell has completed five. He'd qualify for that 20th win. And there's a fly ball high into right field. Gomez is under it, squeezes it. Congratulations. Blake Snell gets his 20th win on the year that paces all major league pitchers and ties a franchise record set by David Price back in 2012 when he won the Cy Young Award. We'll mix it up on you in every count. And a swing and a miss should be the stat. That should be the stat line that guarantees him the, the Cy Young. Well, one would think so. He'll be right up over, you know, 180, 180 plus. Yeah, and a strikeout there on the 97 mile per hour fastball up to Pilar. And the 3 2, and he got him. He strikes him out. Now he's out on strikes. Fly ball, right center field. Kiermaier on the run. He leaps and makes the catch. And he does. He got him. Struck him out with that pitch. Kiermaier shaded toward right center. Academic now as Davis strikes out. And strike three called. And strike three called. Fastball. And he strikes out the side. That one at 98. And strike three called. Fastball 97. 3 2. And he gets him looking. He locked him up out there. 98. So he gets the strike out of Telez, and that's going to be it for Blake Snell. He will depart after the call third strike on Telez. Runner takes off. The pitch is a strike. The throw will not be in time. And he got him. Now the 1 2. Swing and a miss of the ball down. And again, he's getting a swing and miss on the curveball. Now do whatever you want. And he got him. And Snell delivers. Swung on and missed strike three. And boy, did he use the curveball to perfection against Telez in that sequence. And strike three called. Fastball catches Hernandez looking at 97. Manager of the Toronto Blue Jays. How about that? Swing and the miss. I think they, they ought to just let him play everywhere, they not Fastball up at 98. As Diaz leads, now the 3 2, there he goes, and the pitch swung out and missed strike three. Knocked down by Sucre. Comes out to get it, throws the first in time, and that'll do it for the Blue Jays.